Is the Yes Welder Panoramic Helmet worth 139 bucks? We'll let you decide in just a moment. I'm Tim, you're watching Shop Tool Reviews. This is what Yes Welder is calling their Pro Helmet or their Panoramic 302C uh, True View, True Color welding helmet. Anyway, it's a welding helmet and as you can see, uh, has the panoramic view. So you have three viewing windows, big center window, as well as two peripheral windows as well. Um, so wanted to see, hey, is this really worth 139 bucks? Well, quite frankly, when you look at it, I, I believe these were probably that much just a couple of years ago. Um, so, you know, if you're like me, typically you probably just grab the nearest welding helmet, throw it on, run your beads, and you don't think much more of it. Now, at the same time, I've been using auto darkening helmets for years now. Um, so to go back to something that's non -auto, auto darkening, that'd be really tough. So if you haven't stepped into the auto darkening scene yet, I would definitely recommend that. Uh, it's just night and day welding experience. You're not having to flip a hood up and down all the time. It's going to lighten up when you get done welding or when it gets done seeing the arc or when you're grinding, uh, when you get done from throwing sparks, it's going to lighten up and you don't have to flip it up every single time. So definitely if you haven't stepped into that, that auto darkening world, that's definitely worth the money now, especially, you know, helmets aren't 300 bucks anymore for the bare bones auto darkening helmet. You can get into them rather cheaply. Um, but the panoramic was interesting to see. Really wondered, hey, is it really worthwhile? Uh, and we think it is, but before we get too much deeper, let's just go over, we'll actually dive through the features, we'll use it, we'll try to show you through the camera, even though a lot of times that doesn't really give you the best sense, but we'll definitely still try to do that. And then we'll come back and give us our final conclusion. This is the Yes Welder Auto Darkening Panoramic 302C. Uh, they call it their Pro Welding Helmet. And a couple of standout features here is, of course, the panoramic view, uh, as well as you have the large true color display um, that you'll get on the front and on the sides. And by the way, uh, you can see here on the back side as well, all of these are auto darkening, uh, not only the, the center view, but also the side view as well. So any peripheral, peripheral arcs, uh, whether you're looking away or whether somebody may be welding beside you or grinding beside you, uh, those peripheral, peripheral arcs will also uh, trigger uh, those windows as well. Um, and one pretty cool thing is, see if we can get this to trigger here. So you can see here on my center window, we can see through to that cardboard there and as well as on the side. Now, when I turn this light on, that side darkens, but not the center. And we'll see here when I go under now, the side darkens. And again, it lightens back up. So they work independently of each other as well. So that's a pretty cool feature, I thought, that they don't just all trigger at the same time. So again, if you got an arc over here, it might uh, darken that window, but you can still see out the front side and, and see what you're doing there. Um, so pretty cool feature there. Uh, obviously, your, your typical sensitivity, as well as your delay setup, and then what shade you want, and then you can switch it from... Uh, weld to grind as well, whether you're welding or whether you're grinding. Uh, runs off of twin batteries here, they're CR2450s. Um, and by the way, when you buy this, or if you buy this, what you'll get here is a couple of extra shields, um, a couple of the full shields, as well as a center shield that goes under that full shield, and also a couple of the of the side shields as well but uh, and, and by the way so these lenses will actually go on the back side so this is protection from protection from the back side of the um of the auto darkening lenses um, and then the front side is protected by these large lenses which again you get you get two of these as well they'll easily pop in and out uh, by these buttons here that uh, from the inside you can pop loose just by pulling that key out and then that button will come right out and you can change those lenses so really nice that they sent those as well as two of the 2450 batteries. Um, so I'd probably recommend you go ahead and buy an extra pair of these so that when these die, uh, you can swap them out and still have a spare. But anyway, kind of nice to have. Uh, again, you know, if, if this thing dies on you, then you can quickly swap them out and then reorder if you need to. But if you're like me, you even forget then. So I'd recommend go ahead and buy a couple of those. Um, but I like it that Yes Welder included those as well. Uh, another nice feature, really nice feature on this, um, is the actual head unit here. 
uh, and how it attaches to your head. A lot of adjustability here. You get your typical, like a, um, I wouldn't call that a fleece, almost like a microfiber here, cushion pad on the front side. Uh, so rest against your forehead. Then you get basically kind of your overhead band here that's gonna keep it from creeping too far down. And then you get a nice, nice adjustable pad back here as well that it pivots as well as you, an easy to uh, turn uh, adjustment dial there to adjust the actual tension on your head, if you will. I like to set that, you know, once I set it once and I just kind of pull it off my head and, and leave it and don't mess with that. I have heard that uh, of, of one person that actually stripped one of these, but I haven't had any problem with it. We haven't had any problem here in the shop. Um, but, uh, but as far as the, the unit itself, it's worked well so far. Um, we're kind of excited about it. And the true color, um, as far as the vision, if you haven't looked through a true color lens uh, versus your typical standard welding helmet, big difference there. So we'll show that here in one moment. I will say that uh, this is one of the first welding helmets that I've noticed that on the adjustment here, which is their tension for it to, to you know, flip up and down, these are reverse thread. So the right hand is standard thread, so you tighten to the right. The left hand is, uh, the left side is left-handed thread. So the idea here is so that you're turning the same way to tension, but my mindset, I'm always thinking of uh, the dexterity when I'm you know, under a car or something on which way to turn a bolt. So I typically reach up here and want to turn righty-tighty to tighten this, but that's opposite. So you actually turn the same way so tightening on this side is actually a, a left-hand turn, if you will, and to loosen it is a right-hand turn. So just know that when you buy this, that uh, one's right-hand thread, one's left-hand thread, and again, that's so you're turning the same way to tension it, or turning the same way to loosen it. Let's weld a little bit with this and uh, see if we can't see a difference in that true color, as well as see if we can get to see the, uh, the kind of whole panoramic effect. Okay, so let's see if we can't get a true view of, uh, of striking this arc and uh, seeing what happens here um, with the unit and with the true color. Yeah, and forgive my weld, I'm reaching out to do this. So pretty nasty weld, but again, I'm kind of reaching around to do this, just trying to give you the, uh, the sight here on uh, what the true color display looks like and also how, how the, uh, the helmet activates itself. So you see you get a nice panoramic view here and being able to pick this up um, again from the side. Or from the front. Okay, so this clutch helmet I believe is probably somewhere around a hundred bucks. Um, I think this Miller was even more than that. Um, but as far as you look at the viewing windows, they're not near as big as the center window on the Yes Welder helmet. So just that alone is a real big step up compared to other welding helmets. So we really like that big front window, that big picture window, if you will. Um, the auto darkening works well. Um, you can set your, you know, your sensitivity, your, your, uh, your, your shades and everything else right there on the screen like most other auto darkening helmets. Uh, the, uh, the head unit here is very comfortable. Um, probably the most comfortable helmet that I've put on, but a lot of them have gone to a lot nicer setup now. But again, seeing that you're only paying 139 bucks for this one, not a bad deal whatsoever. Also really like the independent darkening of the uh, peripheral windows. I'm calling them peripheral windows. That's your peripheral vision. Um, so I like that, that it's independent of one another, independent of that center, center screen. I also like the complete face shield here that protects all those windows with, with one big face shield, especially for grinding and things like that. That comes in very, very handy. Um, so as far as what we've seen so far, we really like this helmet. Um, I, for $139, you won't find a lot, uh, especially with those features, if any, um, that would be that cheap. It also comes with a one-year warranty. Don't know as far as durability, how long it'll last. 
Um, but we'll see. But like I said, you know, uh, you know, with a one year warranty and the fact that it's probably the cheapest when you look at feature for feature that you'll find out there. Um, and we've been happy with their plasma cutter so far from from Yes Welder. Uh, so anyway, give it a give it a look and, and see. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, should be a 10 percent off coupon code that that link should have a 10 percent discount built into it. Um, so make sure you use that. Uh, by the way, they, they ask us, hey, do you want a commission on this or, or can we, you know, and then I said, well, can we just pass that on to, to you guys? Absolutely. Rather pass that on, not worried about that commission. So by all means, you're taking that discount. It's a whopping 10%. I get it. But hey, it's 14 bucks, 139, 10% of that, it's 1390, I think, if my math's correct. Anyway, make sure you check them out. Hey, if you like this video, will you give us a thumbs up? If you didn't, by all means, give us that thumbs down. But will you let us know in the comments why? Have a great day and keep smiling.